Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to do this video to demonstrate to you all how I work out my soap recipes. It is really fantastic when you know how to do this. It sounds a bit complicated at the beginning, but once you get your head around it, it's really easy to do and it's really quick. So you've just got total freedom then with your soap making. You don't need to rely on other people's recipes and you can tailor your recipes to really suit what you like and what your needs are. So I'm going to go through an example soap recipe that I've got here. But just before I do that, I just want to show you my little book here. This is actually the second one. And this is a really good idea. If you're starting off in soap making and you want to um, keep a record of things, it's a really good idea. So I write all of my um, soap recipes, my essential oil blends, every single thing gets written in here. Um, and that way I've got a really good record of everything and if I, if I want to um, go back to something and remember what I did, it, it's all here. So I use this for everything. Um, there's the latest um, apple cider vinegar shampoo recipe um, that I've got written out. So getting a book like that is a really good idea. Um, yeah, get your book and then you've got all your soap stuff all in there. Okay, so here's how you do it. So this is just an example soap recipe that I've worked out that shows you the kinds of information that you need to decide on or know before you calculate your recipe. So this is the first step that I do. I work out all of these, these things and then once I've worked out what I want to do, I then go onto an online calculator called Soap Calc, which I will show you. Um, and I put in these values into that and it, and it tells me what I need. So the first thing that you need to work out is your oil batch size. So my um, instructional soap making video oil batch was uh, 1000 grams of oil or 1 kilo um, and that's a really good size. A 1 kilo oil batch soap recipe makes about 13 or 14 um, 100 gram bars of soap which are roughly the size of these two just a nice little size but you know you can make your batches as large or as small as you want but a, a kilo oil soap um, soap batch is a really good amount um, given that it's um, a factor of 10 to it makes it easy to calculate other things from the from the 1000 grams of oil anyway I'll explain that later so I've decided I'm going to make a 1000 gram oil batch. The next thing you need to decide is your lye concentration. So I've got there 40%. Now, what is lye concentration? I guess basically when you make soap, you're combining a lye solution, which is a lye or a sodium hydroxide um, mixed with water, that's, that's a solution. So the lye concentration determines how strong that solution is and how much water is in your soap recipe, essentially. So the lye amount, you, got, you can't change. You need to have the exact right amount of lye for the amount and type of oils in your recipe, but you can change the water in your recipe. So this is a bit of a um, little blurb on lye concentration here that I've got. Um, there's a few ways, you know, a few things to know to make the decision on, on how much water you want to have in your recipe. The least amount of water you can possibly have in your sodium hydroxide lye solution is 50%. So that means 50% um, lye or sodium hydroxide and 50% water. You can't go any lower than that with your water because the sodium hydroxide needs an equal amount of water as a minimum to, to dissolve. So you can't go any lower than that. That's a very, very low amount of water. A moderate water amount is about 33% lye concentration solution. So that means 33% lye and 67% water. So you can see there's a lot more water in that solution. And a high water solution is a 25% lye concentration solution which is 25% lye and 75% water. Now I recommend somewhere in the middle. A low water lye concentration solution um, 
it's best to make soap at room temperature if you're using really low water because things can happen quickly because that um, sodium hydroxide lye solution is very concentrated. But the other end of the scale, the high water solutions aren't too great either. Um, they're great if you need everything to happen really slowly and you want to make fancy swirls in your soap and that sort of thing. Uh, a high water um, solution can be helpful for that. But that makes a really soft um, bar of soap that takes a long time to dry. And you can actually get some um, shrinkage in the soap with the high water. So after it's cured, you can see like little um, a little curve where the, the soap bars actually shrunk because it had so much water in it to begin with um, that it's shrunk as it's dried out. So somewhere around the middle is good. So I tend to go around 40%. So a 40% lye concentration is a good moderate to low amount of um, water in your recipe. But I do make my soap with a cold process method and I use all of my ingredients at room temperature, which you would have known from my other videos. So, you know, if you're doing other things and you're using hot oils and things, you might, might want to use a higher water solution. So that's just some basic info for you to know. So once you've decided just get that back in the camera. So once you've decided your lye concentration, I've chosen 40% for this recipe. The next thing to look at is your super fat. So I've got 4% there. So what's the super fat? That is basically a small percentage of oils calculated into the recipe that are excess, that are not going to be saponified by the sodium hydroxide solution. And what that does is two things. It basically gives you a little bit of extra free oil in the soap that um, help it to just leave a tiny little bit of oil on your body after you wash it. Um, just just makes the soap very, very slightly oily, um, which, which helps it to, yeah, just condition the skin a bit better. Um, the other reason for the super fat is just a bit of a safety buffer. So having a little bit of excess oil in the recipe we'll, we'll just make sure that your um, soap is not too lye heavy if you've accidentally mispoured something or um, you know got a little bit too much lye in there for some reason um, having a little bit of excess oil in the recipe just helps helps to make sure that um, you know there's not it's not too caustic so I hope that makes sense <laughs> Um, so here's a section that I usually write out in my recipes for the water and the sodium hydroxide or the lye. Now these are blank now because we don't know this yet. These are the values that the calculator is going to tell us. So based on the basic information of the oil batch, the lye concentration, the superfat and the oils, it's going to tell us how much sodium hydroxide we need and how much water. So the last thing to decide on is um, what oils you're going to use in your recipe. So this is just an example, um, and I love doing it this way. I always choose my oils by percentage. That way you can upsize or downsize your batch. It's really, really easy. You can make it any size you want. So I've chosen olive oil at 80%, 10% um, coconut oil, 5% castor oil, and 5% cocoa butter. Obviously those values all need to add up to 100% which will, um, you know, 100% of your oils are using. And when you're, when, you've, um, when you're using a 1,000 gram oil batch recipe, these are really obvious. So olive oil will be 800 grams, coconut oil will be 100 grams, castor oil and cocoa butter will be 50 grams, and that will make up the, the one kilo. But say if you, you're using an oil batch to fit a particular size mold and your oil batch recipe is, you know, um, 2,350 grams, those oil amounts aren't going to be so obvious. Um, so if you just use the percentages, then the calculator will work the rest out for you. So that's the basics of how I set up a soap recipe. Um, and these are the things that I work out just on a, in my little booklet before I go to the Soap Calc website and, and put my values in and, and work out my exact recipe. So I'll do that next. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to show you how to find and use the soap calc 
online soap calculator. So just go to a search engine and type in soap calc. That's all you need, just soap calc rather than soap calculator. Um, and there it is, soapcalc.net. Click on that. And here it is. So it's not the most attractive um, <laughs> website to use. It's got a whole lot of ads that flash at you on the side, but if you can just try not to look at those too much, you'll be fine. So you'll see here, um, there's one, two, three, four, all these sections basically. So we'll just start at the beginning. So number one is the type of lie that you're using. N-A-O-H, I hope you can see my mouse here. N-A-O-H, um, that is sodium hydroxide. K-O-H is potassium hydroxide. So you would use potassium hydroxide for liquid soaps. I'm talking about bar soaps here, so we're going to use N-A-O-H, sodium hydroxide. So that's already clicked, so we leave that. Um, section two, weight of oils. Um, I click grams um, because I want to work in grams and our recipe has got 1,000 grams. So you just put in what your oil, total oil batch size is. Now, number three here, the water section. This actually gives you a couple of different options for how you want to enter your water value. You can do a water to lie ratio, water as percentage of oils. I personally prefer the lye concentration method, which I've explained in the first part of this video. And I've chosen for this recipe to use a 40% lye concentration. So that is in. Um, the next section here, section number four, asks for you to enter your superfat percentage. So I have chosen a 4% superfat. The default value that they put there is 5%, but I've chosen 4. And this asks you if you want to put your fragrance values in as well. I just leave that blank. I calculate my own um, fragrances. Okay, now the next section, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. This looks a bit kind of confusing at the beginning but basically these are all of the possible oils you can click and drag on this sidebar to look at all the different possible oils and fats that you can use in your soap recipes it's pretty awesome um, this section here number five you can look at that maybe as you get more into soap making what this does is depending on the oils that you put in your recipe over here um, this section here tells you what fatty acids are in your soap, which is pretty interesting, and what sort of um, characteristics that provides for your soap bar. For example, here it's got all the soap qualities, hardness, cleansing, conditioning, bubbly, creamy, the iodine level, and INS, which I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so in our recipe, this is how you enter the oils into your recipe. You just click and drag this, and you find the first oil, which in our recipe is olive. So there we go, just plain olive oil. Click on that. And then you go up here to this little add button here. Just click add. Then you go over to the green section beside it and you write in your percentage. So for our recipe today, it's 80%. All right, the next oil is coconut oil. So I find that on the list. Um, coconut oil, you just want the 76 degree coconut oil, that's the standard one. There are other types of coconut oil, this fractionated one is a treated coconut oil that is liquid at room temperature, you don't want that, you just want your standard um, 76 degree melting point coconut oil, that's the one that you'll just get at the supermarket. Okay, so we'll add that in and then we're going to have 10% of that, so I put my 10% in. Um, next we've got castor oil, which shouldn't be too far off. There it is, castor oil. Click add and then we're going to have 5% of castor oil. And the final one is cocoa butter, which is also close by. Click add and then add the 5%. So um, that's pretty much it. That's all you do. So you've got your lye type your oil batch, total amount of oil batch, your lye concentration, your super fat, you've added your oils in, 
and then you go down to this button down here, number seven, and you click calculate recipe. So that calculates your recipe for you. You can see that your oils here are adding up to 100% and your oil in gram amounts are adding up to 1000 grams, which is what you want. This section here has calculated all of the values of your soap, which you can look more into if you want to. The next final stage is to click this button down here that says view or print recipe. So we'll just click that. And here we go. Here is our recipe all calculated out. You can skip the part that I showed you before where you write it all out. You can just put it straight in here and then print this out if you want. Um, I like my little book, but you can do this if, if you prefer. And if you're just going to use the same recipe over and over again, then just print out one. You know, that, that's an easy way to do it. Um, so here's everything in. We've got our oil weight there. Um, this actually does tell us our water percent um, calculated as a, as a percentage of the oil weight, which you don't need, but it's there. The lycra the concentration is there. The super fat is there. Um, all of the oils are there. We've got olive oil, coconut, castor and cocoa butter, all our percentages. So in this middle section here, these two middle sections, these are the bits that we need to know that we didn't have, have in our recipe. So the water amount we need is, and I'm looking at the grams section, you can look at pounds and ounces if you're working in those units, but we're working in grams. So we need 201 grams. I don't worry about the, the decimal points, I just use the whole gram amount. So 201 grams of water, and we need 134 grams of sodium hydroxide for this recipe. So write down those two values on your in your book or your piece of paper, um, and also write down your oil amounts if you haven't already worked those out. So that's all you need. So you've got your recipe all sorted out. You know exactly how much of everything you need. And um, yeah, the soap calc is a really great calculator. There are other soap calculators, but this one is the most comprehensive and detailed. So I really like it. Hope that hope that all made sense to you. Um, play around with it anyway. And if you've got any issues, please make a comment below and I can help you out. Okay. Okay, so here we are with our complete soap recipe. Um, I've added in the values that came from the soap calc online calculator. So we've got our water, 201 grams and 134 grams of sodium hydroxide. And I've written in our, our oil amounts as well. Um, so that's pretty much all you need to make a bar of soap. You've got your recipe, um, it's, it's all good because it's been calculated with the calculator you know that this amount is going to be correct because the calculator knows what all of the saponification values are for each oil. Um, I'll just say one more thing um, about the essential oils and the fragrance. I didn't mention that before. Obviously that's for most people that's a really important part of the soap recipe. So depending on what essential oils you're using, um, very strong or pervasive oils you would use a smaller amount um, oils that tend to be a bit more fleeting like citrus oils and and some lighter top notes um, they, they need to you need to put a bit more in I tend to um, put essential oils in my soap recipes at a rate of between three and five percent of the total oil amount so in this case three to five percent of 1000 1000 grams so what that equates to in this recipe and um, because I've got um, a thousand grams of oil again this makes the essential oil amount really easy to work out I'm going to use 30 to 50 grams of essential oil in this recipe so if you're using a blend of essential oils then you need to work out you know what percentages of 30 percent uh, sorry of 30 or 50 grams you're going to use for each oil but that's you know you can work that out but this would be your total amount that you would use or the range of your total amount that you would use in this recipe 
So I hope that's explained it well um, for everybody. Um, I really hope that this can get people going with their soap making. I've given a couple of basic recipes to start off with, but I really love to be able to help people to be really independent with it and make up their own recipes and really just, um, yeah, learn, learn all of the art of soap making. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please uh, leave a comment below if you've got any questions. And thanks for watching. Bye.